So if you have one of these, a squishy ball or something similar, I can't think what, but maybe you're quite inventive, you'll think of something. You put it in your lap between the thighs and your belly and pick up your feet. I'm going to put my hands on the front here of my shins and drop the chin down towards your chest and roll back. Can you keep the contact with the ball as you roll? You probably find you're looking at it quite a lot, which is good because that means you won't be lifting your chin or arching your neck. So you're keeping the chin down. Oh, so this helps you keep your legs in a good position, especially if you do rolling on the floor and you're one of those people that tends to do this quite a bit. <laughs> and your legs go all over the place. <clears throat> so the other way to practice um, trying to find the stability in rolling like a ball is put the ball underneath the knees, so the back of the knees, and then holding onto your shins. Imagine you've got one here as well, and then roll back. Don't lose the ball. Your awareness goes more into your spine. The curve of your spine, that lovely C curve, that shape here, so mid back, you're not arching your back to draw to roll back. So you have to have this heaviness here in the mid back as if it's being pulled down. If you've got a bit of string here or a bit of thread being pulling here. And then when you have that, you notice you get this sinking or this folding here of the rib cage and a dropping down of the lower part of your chest bone, your sternum. Let your shoulders go and don't be afraid <laughs> because you will probably, the first few times, drop the ball and that's okay. You don't have to achieve it in the first move. So play around with it and have some fun and uh, let me know how you get on. Happy practicing.